Hello, this is Mr. Painter with another fabulous IXL tutorial. Today we're working on IXL D14, identify equivalent expressions using exponents part one. Yeah, there is a part two for D15, but we're going to work on part one. All right, so our first step, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually calculate what three to the third power times three to the fourth power is equal to. So when we have this part here, that is actually going to be equal to three to the third power plus to that fourth power so then we're going to get three to the seventh power all right now read the directions carefully because it says which expression is equivalent so when it says which expression is equivalent that means there's only one right answer so obviously three to the 12th of the match uh one over the 12th of the match so you're trying to confuse you they think you're going to multiply but you don't do that with exponents you add um the fraction we only do the fraction when it has a negative seven so that one's out. Then the positive is our correct answer. So three, the positive matches perfectly. All right, gives us a nice little good start. We're at a smart score of 14. Um, next up, we have nine to the ninth power. And I'm going to add that second power because it has the same base. Remember, the base is the number in front of the exponent. So I got nine to the... 9 plus 2 is to the 11th power. And it says which expression is equivalent. That means we're only going to pick one right answer. And the correct answer is going to be um, the first one here. So we're going to go ahead and choose that one there. All right. Next up, we have 5 to the 7th power times 5 to the 5th power. So once again, keep the base. And we're going to add 7 and 5 equals seven plus five is going to take us to a total of 12 so we are looking for five to the 12 and again watch the direction because it says which expression is equivalent to so again we're only going to pick one but why do i have a feeling that eventually they're going to say which expressions which means you're going to pick more than one eventually so just keep an eye on that as we go all right next up we have five to the negative one times five to the negative three. Now it's getting interesting. So we got five to the negative one plus uh, to the negative third power. Okay, so when you have a dollar that you spend plus you're spending three more dollars, this one's gonna take us to five to the negative four. So watch your math on this one. Same sign you add, so one plus three is four. But because they are negative, we're going to keep that negative. All right. Um, also, just a reminder, 5 to the negative 4 is also going to be equal to 1 over 5 to the positive 4. So when you have a negative exponent, you can turn that into a positive fraction. So let's see what I can do with that. So this one here, we got 1 over 5 to the 3rd. No way. 5 to the 3rd. No way. Um, there it is right there. So we're looking for that. And they forgot to take off the negative for that one so here we go so we got one over five to four all right next up we got a situation where they're a little bit different so now we're at a smart score of 47 what exactly happens here all right so first up we got 12 to the negative five over four to the negative five what I can do here is we can switch our two numbers to make the fractions, not the fractions, but the exponents positive. So what happens here is we got four to the positive five, and then we got 12 to the positive five here. Now, so far I don't see a match, right? So, So after this right here, notice that our exponents are the same. We have a five here and a five here. So what I wanna do is I wanna focus on the fraction. And remember fractions are just division here and see what happens. So four over 12 is gonna be the same thing as one over three, one over three. However, we're gonna leave the fifth power in there. So one over three to the fifth. All right, um, take a look right now. So 
so far I don't have any matches, right? So I don't match here, match here, match here, match here. However, it looks like improperly they're going to try to match this one. Because remember what happens as a, we have a fraction with the negative or a positive power. We can change it back to a whole number with a negative exponent. So here I'm getting three to the negative fifth power. So normally I do go from here to like that, right? So if I have a negative fifth power, I change it to a positive fraction. But because this right here is my only choice, um, I need to go from a fraction back to a negative power. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick the last one. Again, read the directions, which expression is equivalent. So we're only going to pick one. So that should take us to 55. There we go. All right, next up, uh, same situation. We have the same exponent, but what I want to do is I want to simplify the 10 over 5. So 10 divided 5 is 2 to the second power. And I'm looking right now. I don't see a match so far. Uh, what we can do is we can take 2 to the second power and convert it to a fraction by changing the sign to be 2 to the negative second power. And there we go. We're going to get our match there. So again, when you introduce the fraction as the denominator, you change the sign of the exponent. So let's go ahead and go with that. All right. Next up, we got um, same thing. Same exponents that match. However, because they're negative, what I want to do is I want to flip it so it's positive. So we're going to have 5 over 10 to the positive sixes. So 5 over 10 gives us 1 over 2 to the 6th power. And full law, I actually happened to get that one right there. And same thing, which expression is equivalent? So we're going to pick 1. And that one is going to be the third one here. All right, next up, we got 5 to the 25th power over the 5th. This one's pretty straightforward. Whenever there's no exponent, you automatically know there is one, right? So then what happens here is we have five to the 25th power because the base is the same, we're gonna subtract the exponent of one. So five 25th subtract one is gonna be five to the 24th. And I'm looking right now, I don't see any matches. So let's see uh, what is going on here. So five, okay, so we got five to the fifth times five to the fifth, which would give us five to the 25, but it doesn't really address the exponent of one. Five to the 25th, no, because that's the same thing as that one. Okay, then I got one over five to the 25th, but again, you have to subtract out that one there. So I should be getting something with the 24th power. So now we're stuck with this one, 10 to the 24th over... 2 to the 24th. But if you take this 10 to the second power or 10 over 2, what's 10 divided 2? Oh, 10 divided 2 is 5. Put the 24 back in, and that's where we have our match. So in this case, this was a double whammy where you had to solve one of the answers to simplify and match. So the last one's going to be the correct one because, again, I had to do that 10 divided 2. It's sneaky. It's kind of buried in there, but that's what they were asking us to look for. All right, we got the same base. So we got two to the third power plus zero. And this gives us two to the third power. And once again, I don't see any matches. Two to the zero power doesn't match two to the third power. So that one's definitely out. Um, here we go. Right here, the second one, we have two to the six minus two. And I don't know why I put three, it's minus two. So we have two to the third power. So this one looks good. This one here, we have six over three is two. Match the exponent is two to the third. So these two look the same to me. So we're gonna have to come back to it. So something's going on. <clears throat> okay, then now we have two to the zero power over two to the ninth. So two to the zero minus nine is equal to two to the negative nine. So that one's definitely out. Now let's see what happened between these two. I bet you I made a little mistake. 
So if I look at six subtract two, <laughs> there is my mistake. Six minus two is to the fourth. So the second one's actually wrong because I was thinking for whatever reason division. So that was a sneaky one. That one almost got me. So we are going to go with the third one. So sometimes it does help to do all four of them because it could uncover mistakes that you could possibly make. All right. Uh, looks like two more. Then we'll be in the home stretch. So then we got a power rule. We got nine to the third times five. Why are we multiplying? Because the three and the five have no number between them. It's only one base with two exponents. So that's going to take us nine to the 15. All right. Let's take a look. Um, nine to the eight. Nope. We have uh, one over nine to the 15. No, because if I change this into a fraction, that'd be nine to the negative 15. So that's definitely not right. Um, here looks like we might be on to something. So we got nine to the seven plus eight. So that one we get nine to the seven plus eight is 15. That one to me, it looks good. But again, check the last one because it did un uncover a mistake last time. So we have uh, nine to the second plus four gives me nine to the sixth power. So with that being said, the third one would be the correct answer for sure. So we're going to choose that one. All right. And our last problem. Here we go. We got four to the negative three times four to the second. All right. So four to the negative three, same base, different exponents. We're going to add them together. So I got four to the negative three plus two. And using my rules of integers, negative 3 plus 2 is going to be 4 to the 1. And even simpler, now i got to be careful here. I'm saying positive 1 when we have a negative 3 that's larger than the positive 2. So because the negative 3 is larger, it's going to carry the sign there. So i got 4 to the negative 1. And take it a little bit of a step further, you can do 4 over positive 1. Same thing, which expression is equivalent? So you're picking 1. So look for the one that matches our steps. Uh, here we go. We have the power rule here. This one's actually four to the, good man, six times seven. That's going to be like, what, 42? Four to the negative 42. That's definitely not even close. Second one over, we have one times negative seven. So I got four to the negative seven. Nope, not good. 4 to the negative 1 matches right here. So that one means it's equivalent. So that one looks good so far. But check the last one. Um, 6 over the negative 1. So that is 4 to the 6 subtract 1. Gives me 4 to the 5th power. So that one doesn't match. So in this case, the third one will be the correct answer. All right. With that being said, this concludes your tutorial for IXL. D12, identify expressions involving exponents 1. Have an amazing day and you got this.